Hello everyone and welcome back to Fableheim and our benevolent tyrants. Domination of China. We have been attacked by essentially the big daddy dong. And we're a little tired. So, we're going to have a good fight. Now being in force march just means that your units are tired. They have, they're fatigued. They don't move as quickly. I think they have some stat penalties, but we should still just be strong enough to laugh at them. I hope. We don't exactly have the best duelists in the world here, but um, Big Daddy Dong can take these units and put them into overdrive with Rain of Ta. It just basically makes all of these incredibly powerful endgame units really mad. Which is not something you want your in-game units to be. Well, <laughs> not something your enemy wants them to be. We shall say. Did they just say kill yourself? Don't do that. That is against terms of service. <laughs> uh, I'm funny. Anyway. We are... Pretty good. Pretty good. We're going to be using our deployables to our advantage, as usual. Another thing that has made it slightly less bad. We have our towers this time. That's cool. <laughs> uh, this has made being caught out of Force March a little easier, because they're always the aggressor if you're attacked in Force March. So they will always come to you, so you can always prepare deployables to be a little safer. I'm not using fire. Here we go. And Look out! Enemy reinforcements are here! as always, Big Daddy Dom, I will see you once the enemies have assembled themselves. And the enemy approaches. They've taken so long that our units are now just tired instead of exhausted. So good job. You screwed up. This actually <laughs> reminds me of a quote. My dad and I uh, talk about movie quotes all the time and I'm not a movie person but he is and so when we've both seen a movie it's a very rare occurrence and there's one movie called A History of Violence the enemy warriors and it takes a while to explain what it's all about but in History of Violence the main character uh, his brother wants him dead and he's like ex-mafia or something and uh, he goes to visit his ex-brother to tell him to stop attacking him and his family and <laughs> and uh, his brother is like, the only thing that will make me happy, Joey, is you being dead. And so someone pops up behind the main character and tries to strangulate him with some sort of very thin wire, like piano wire or something. And uh, Joey, obviously being the protagonist and having plot armor, doesn't get killed by that. Leaving some traitors for me? We're not you traitors. You are the traitor. If you wish to participate. Um, One step closer to victory. And so he's able to fend it off or whatever. And the the guy's brother, the bad guy, he literally looks at the person who just failed to surprise someone and strangulate them. Please brace. And he goes, "How do you fuck that up?" <laughs> and that's what I was just thinking about. Like, how do you mess this up? You caught me with an advantage, and you're still about to get wrecked. Riggedy, riggedy, wrecked. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. Go kill her. We're gonna make her pay. Please stop getting caught in cavalry. You know, I have... I left these guys back here for this very specific purpose. Also, the towers are good. I'm glad they're here. I don't know where they go every so often, but I'm glad that they're here today. I really needed them, you know? Honestly, I need more of these to get over here. Rally! Our general needs our aid! She is just fine. Steal yourselves! I didn't even use this. The time has come! And the I didn't have to. The enemy general is fallen! They were no match. Yep. Just turn my archers around something and it explodes. I'm gonna miss that. Open fire. 
But I think I'm going to take, or prefer that over, or rather, prefer a billion armor-piercing arrows over what we currently have. This guy followed my cavalry really far. This is pretty much over, so... The men have no ammunition! You can send Big Daddy Dong over there. Lay the smack down. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, I am going to clean this up a little bit. The men are just a wee bit. Are you fast enough to catch this guy? I don't even know. Maybe, maybe I'm not. I think I changed my mind. A decisive victory. We weren't really that overwhelmed. Which is funny when you consider how many there were. In the air, I was like, no, you're going to lose this. Nah. Nah. What was it, a crushing defeat or something? Victory Goes to show you what you know. Assured. Yes, Dong. I like the Dong's optimism. It's very optimistic, which is strange. Ge Zhuang. Repetitive stalwart composed. I don't want you. If I dispatch all, who will I rule? <laughs> uh, is it bad that I like the dong? Is it bad? I feel like it's a bad thing. I kind of mentioned this in a few episodes ago. Um, but one thing to keep in mind about the Three Kingdoms in general, I think, is that... Oh, Battlefield Surgeon, Jishu. Yale Turbine signed peace with Sinjian. Freaking traitor. Sao Ang is now honest. Wang Shi is now trustworthy. People I don't recognize. There's another of our eunuchs looking for work. Unsurprisingly. Um, something about history is... Moving out. History is written by the victors. Cast anchor. And... Our fire has abated. Dong Zhuo Gather was not neither a victor or a good guy. So he had it doubly against him. That's not to say that he was a good guy by any stretch of the imagination, but just that, you know, starts. history was not going to be kind to him. It is my destiny to succeed. Just a thought to keep in mind. To action. It's very similar, actually, to how historians really like Shu Han, Let or all know what, what Liu Bei eventually today. established, because he kind of fit in with... with conquest. Dominion the traditions grow. and stuff. Oh. Hey. We want these for this as well, I think. Yeah. So we turn this into this. Which I can't do that because... Didn't I get this? What did I pick up last time? Hello, we have it. Maybe I can't upgrade it. Because the city's not big enough? That's a possibility. We're going to sit here and punish a few turns before we go smack down the rest of the faction. I also feel like I've forgotten what I was talking about, but here we are. With wisdom. I promise I won't give all of my money to Kong Rong this time. I'll think about it. To action. But I won't do it. To battle. We're going to go ahead and starve out Zheng Zheng. She's probably going to attack us. But she might not. Who knows? Uh, I think we want to fully replenish here and then move out. We are currently not using any one mustering bonus. So it's fine. Okay, we'll stay one turn with Gorgia. Then we'll move out. To arms. With Take heaven. this back. You've had quite the uh, argument over the city Those for a while. Oppose harmony must be crushed. A kerfuffle of sorts. It would be prudent to occupy this place. You know. I just realized something. If we're going to do what we're going to do. And absorb this tiny faction. We should have. No. I think I can still do it. Kong Rong's going to be expensive though. How may I serve? Go wait for a second. So, because this they have a permanent army out here, we're going to absorb this faction, and then... Absolutely not. 
put Kong Rong and Machao in Huang Zhong's army. That's the plan. That's what I'm gonna do. Genius. Overwhelm them. If I do say so myself. I'll pick them up next turn. Oh yeah, Sao Ang. How old are you, Sao Ang? It brought me here. Okay. He's 22. Not bad. Is it 2k to marry if you don't spawn a wife? I don't remember. We talked about marriage a lot last time. But uh, just a quick recap. I want to marry my children to children of other the other faction lords, if possible. So for now, the only one I really know of, besides Sao Ren and Sao Ong that I can't interact with in any way, uh, is Dong Li. This is Dong Zhuo's daughter. And if we're keeping Liu Bian as the heir, I might as well marry her to him. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's funny. I don't know why, but it's funny to me. The family of Dong and Liu shall forevermore have their fates intertwined. And we're down to 43 gold. I still... I still like to entertain the idea of replacing Liu Bian as the heir. But I mean, he's been the heir for so long. And... Hmm. I don't know. Something I saw, actually. Uh, well, I have to try my hardest to remember it. I was looking over everyone's effects in court last time. But one person that I did not look over because you can't Your replace them will lead us to victory, friend. is the Emperor. And Liu Hong. Let me tell you a thing or two about Liu Hong. He does the days may shorten, but we cannot rest early. so many things. His benefits for being faction leader are ridiculous. Just absurd. So we're going to need a pretty good heir to replace him, and that is not Liu Bian. Liu Bian is terrible compared to his father. Also, what is this forest? I guess it's best to sit up here. Ugh. They're attacking us, remember, so we get to hang out and have a jolly good time. Oh, no. I want them, but I don't want them to be in group one. We want these guys to be group one. Patience is key. We also don't have our towers again. For whatever reason. No idea where they went. Skirmish horsemen. It might be time to start getting rid of Luzier's unique units. Just put in two more of the Imperial Palace crossbows. But for now, we still have them. We'll hold on to him. I guess. Look at that range. It's beautiful. Is that 51 ammunition? It is. Oh, it's beautiful. You love to see it. Uh, and I want you guys out of... You can set <laughs> the forest on fire when you're in it, so be careful with flaming projectiles. Okay. We have spikes. Uh, I don't need spikes. They're actually more annoying for me. Okay, I'm gonna move up a little bit, and then we're gonna wait for our friends Look to out. Enemy reinforcements are here. join us. The enemy comes before us, and Attention. they're very eager. Ready. Zheng Jiang is on her way. I don't know why. She lost her red sisters to me. Stand ready. Oh, of course they don't want to duel. No one wants to duel Gong Sun Zen. Because he would win. That's tenacity of steel. Han Fu would probably win. But I still worry. Mm, 
All right, let's go. Our general is engaged in a duel. All right, Hanfu. Do not disappoint me. I am very worried about all this cavalry. We are pretty outnumbered. But somehow still confident. Are they fighting? They are. Ready. Give me your assistance, please. We have actual units over here, too. I turn this off so we can go back on now. Our noble brother is being attacked. He is. What's happening here? Look at these. Look at the rain of crossbows. I hope we've broken most of this. I think we have. Maybe. Go, go, Stop go. fighting spikes. Faster. The enemy warriors are running. Alright, we're going out here. We still don't have the wisdom of the river. Which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Where is... What? Double time. Where did Zheng Zheng go? I don't know. March on the double. I kind of want to come support Gongsun Sen here. Am I? Yeah. We're fighting here still. We're almost done. Don't break all my stuff. I need that. This is... Oh, it's enemies. And I have this. Okay. That's Make fine. Can you get back on your horse, please? Go. The enemy no. warriors are running. Ah. No. I'm not interested. Prepare. Please get on your horse, please. Ready. We just like shattered the line here with Gong Sun Zen. Good job. Oh, there she is. What are you doing over there? I'm so confused. Here, break that. Looks? Yeah, sounds well, good. You found them with your razor wit. <laughs> mm, maybe not that one. Go kill her. The enemy warriors are running. Go kill her. I can't see her anymore. We are shooting down the Azure Dragons. Because they are a threat. And all threats deserve to get shot down. Except for me, of course. So we can find some more cab to stab. Go. Listen to your character. Go, 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 go. Yes, there she is. I wonder what happened to her sister. Because her sister is the one that um, she starts with. As her faction heir, actually. Fun fact about Zhang Zheng is that it was believed that there was no singular Zheng Zheng, and that it was actually a creation of two or more people that, uh, you know, they like swap places, so it would seem as if she was in one area and then magically appeared somewhere else. Right. So what they did was they created a Zheng Jiong and then her sister, Take heed, warriors. Uh, who would be like the other one. Steal yourselves. Go for the legs. And if you play as the uh, as Zheng Jiang, your sister is a strategist who is your faction heir. The time has come. And you can use uh, Zheng Jiang as one of the few factions that you can use yourself. Like marry yourself off to uh, absorb other factions. The enemy unit flees. What cowards? Because the only way to confederate in this game is to do so through marriage. But unfortunately, most of the faction leaders are married or get married, so it's pretty tricky to use it well. Where the heck is she? Oh, she's right here. Coming after Luger. That's very rude. 
Get back on your horse right now. We'll just pincer them. This has been a little messy of a fight, but it's fine. I'm gonna fast forward now. We're just waiting for that. I honestly expected more. Just waiting for her to die. A close victory. Compared to the what? Crushing defeat? I told you. We just let our good units tank the line. A quick wit dodges the hardest blow. These guys got 167 kills. We captured Zhang Chuan and Xin Tingpei. Hmm. She has some pretty good traits. You don't like Sheng Liao, huh? Not they bad. have nothing to contribute to China. Well, not my bad, but goodbye then. Um, yeah, sure, we'll pick her With up. With all resources. Why not? Why not? Sao Bao Yan has come of age. Liu Mengwen has come of age. Nice. Two daughters coming of age. I wonder if we waited one more turn, we they should have come back. They lacked a coherent strategy. Hmm. Maybe we should have captured her. <laughs> Speaking of capture, Lo Yuan will release her. Release them. We have no use for them. We've gained a treasure. Chance to gain ancillary. It's not a very good ancillary. Oh boy. Kong Rong is tranquil. Excellent. Liu Xiao is also tranquil. Excellent. Jia Zhu is bright. Zhou Jing is trustworthy. And Zuan Fan is fraternal. Nice. Tranquil is an amazing trait. Like, if I could give everyone a trait, it would be tranquil. Are you going for my mind? Is that what's happening here? To conquest! I'm just going to chase you down. We can now absorb Liu Yu. Of all the factions to absorb, it's probably not the best one. But we're going to do it. Because I want the, egg, the ageless strength. We might just make that the title of the episode. The ageless Stay strength. Fit. I am at one again. All right, Kong Rong. Be still. Kong Rong and Machao. Where are you at? It's the perfect group composition. I don't know much about Huang Zhang other than he. Who was he with? He was with someone. And then Liu Bei convinced him to join him. It's always Liu Bei. <laughs> convinced him to join him. Because the people respected Huang Zhong. And if Huang Zhong joined Liu Bei, Liu Bei was like, well, then the people will follow you. And that's basically how Huang Zhong joined Liu Bei. Liu Bei somehow proved himself or something or other. Is it free again? Oh, this bug never asked questions. Just don't ask questions. I think the cataphracts are better than the Chiang. Well, they're different. Just six cataphracts. Don't ask questions. Probably going to replenish one more turn with the Dong. Guoji is probably going to head this way. The problem... Embrace well, impulse. I don't know if it's a problem. Stand ready. Oh. Bail turbines are do not break. putting their stuff... I think I skipped a turn with you. Return to That's standard fine. Position. Just give me this back. This army is... The perhaps the most annoying thing we've faced this entire... We will be righteous. Entire campaign. Just this army leading us by the nose. Every How may day. I serve, my lord? Are you bugged as well? 
Oh, you can't get cataphracts. What's up with that? The Imperial Palace Cavalry are also zero. I'm not sure what is causing that, honestly. Is that a bug or a feature? Uh, more campaign movement range, please. Like, it might be because of owning multiple horse pastures? Is that is that a thing? Reduce corrupt recruitment. I mean, it could be. Mm -hmm. I need more money for the the other things, though. My really good emperor units that carry me through all, through thick and thin. That's what I need. Yeah, unfortunately, Kong Rong is not a very good commander. <sighs> sigh, this sigh. Also, you need new weapons. Have this. Didn't do much about your horse. I gave you a pig. Good. So he is 69. Nice. But, um... He is going to be alive for quite some time. Oh, I didn't show you. I knew I was going to forget. I knew it. I knew it. But that's fine. I'll, sh I'll remember it now because it was... We just talked about it. Not even I had that short of a memory span. Okay. Let's go to the court real quick. Let's take a look. Liu Hong. Look at this. Additional assignments. Redeployment cost. 200% income from family estates. That's the uh, city income. Uh, undercover network cost for enemy spies. That's kind of bad, but that's because we're not... The Inconstant Emperor. <laughs> uh, satisfaction increase by 40. 12 public order. 5 faction support. 15 morale. 5% all income. I think this changed because remember when we started the campaign? Our little title thing was Inconstant Emperor and now it's the Great Emperor of the Han. I think when we won, we got an upgrade. Which I would love to see more of, by the way. If anyone's listening, if there was a way for people's, like, titles to, like, respected mentor. If you could somehow become, like, preeminent mentor or something, then that would be dope. Hergen's energetic GSU is tranquil. Yes. Everyone become tranquil. To arms! Spread in all directions! See, they fled. And that was their mistake. But, I mean... Even worse, they fled into the rain, the reinforcement range of my city. Ooh, do we capture him? No. We capture Jia Ho Shang. He's gonna die and give me that bodyguard. This and Tai Shi Zichin. Who's also less. going to die. But we captured a spear. Once again, I feel the which I can't use here. Home. But it seemed like a pretty good spear. Was it just another heirloom spear? It was. Okay. It seemed like a good, another good spear, but I guess it wasn't. And Machao already has an airlift spear. Okay. Good. Actually, you could probably go into the city now. Or the mine. You're in the mine. Alright. So, the Imperial Army is now poised to strike down at Tao Ying. We might want... Our assignments are wearing off. We might want... To put some replenishment here. Six turns. We'll put some here and see if we can help, I guess. Wang is pretty mad. Here you go. I think we kind of have to win the game before. Uh, win the game before our Emperor dies. Because thinking of losing all those bonuses is really painful. We need tax collection here. Who feels like doing it? There you go, you. You and Shu, have fun. 
We also need way more assignments everywhere. Over here, though. Let's see real quick. Okay, yeah. As we have to upgrade the city settlement, which we're doing. So good, 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 good. Now we're continuing down the yellow line. Finally, at long last, this could help a lot. Also unlocks the Grand Temple. I wanted to go this way. What is this? Tax collector? Hmm. This line is all anti-corruption. And I will go down that line, but we're going to go down this first to pick up the final stage of the temple and to reduce character salaries because they're pretty expensive. Even with minus 20%, the Dong... 664. Zhang Liao, 1830. No, that's the upkeep. Your salary is 79, okay. That's a lot more reasonable. Is this your upkeep or salary? Wow. Oh, salary and upkeep, okay. But anyway, reducing salary, good. Especially since a lot of our court positions are. pay a lot. <laughs> Discipline curbs chaos. So we have two things here. Absolutely not. She's fleeing for her life, which is probably the right thing to do. Oh, you've leveled up. Good job. I'm going to have you do this. If I had money, I'd give you more people. But <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. I need to finish this army, too. This army is mostly finished. I just need you to be... That. Isn't it beautiful? Six cab is kind of scary. You are replenishing. So go here. It seems I must struggle more. Yeah. The trap is set. Yeah. Ooh, why? What? What's happening here? Conserve energy! I cannot. Well, this will probably be the last thing we do today. So I'll save that for a second. Can I reach this army? I can. For See? Honor. Getting reach? Best idea I've had in a while. Yeah. 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 We also followed the road. Justice Which helps. I kind of wish denied. you could build more roads. That would be cool. To action! Unfortunately, I can't. I can't finish him off. Unification requires discipline. I gong do. Bye gong do. <laughs> I knew it was gonna run, but I win anyway. Strike quickly. The magic of night battles. This is a close victory, so we're gonna fight this out and call it a day. We're slowly chipping away. I hate these battles, but we're slowly chipping away at the Yellow Turban strength. Hopefully we can capture and execute Zhang Zhui here. That would be title worthy. Can it compete with the Ageless strength for the title? Hmm. I don't know. But it is title worthy. We aren't going to use any of our deployments. The towers are all... Okay, good. They're all broken. So we're just going to do something really cheeky. Real cheeky. Just send them here. It will have. Um, how am I doing this? Keep one here. These guys will come in from across the map. And we'll have these guys in groups of two. One goes straight down mid. Two goes over here. Three goes over here. Easy. Actually, these guys will come with these two groups. So that's one and three. And then we'll have our cavalry come in from opposite edges. That's the real play. And then our heroes can come in from here as well. Actually, you're going to go down this lane. You can hang out with your archers. 
You can go this way. Okay. Steal yourselves. Double time. Stand ready. Are they coming out to me? Wait, what? They are. Not what I expected. That's fine. This is like a bad idea. Look, the enemy run. Craven. That didn't take very long. They're already fleeing, like the cowards that they are. This is going well, actually. Why are you going this way? It's a real question. I guess Leo Vian can just come here. Not that big of a deal for him to fight Zhang Zhui, I don't think. The enemy warriors are running. Liu Bian. Listen. There's something about his voice. Something about it. I'm not quite sure what it is. Alright. The enemy general falls! Hi, Zhang Joy. And that's why I didn't do any duels. Because together, they are stronger. I'm literally just trying to rip through the enemy here. My cataphracts up there. You guys there. This is going well. The enemy unit flees. This is going very well. In fact, better than I could have possibly hoped for. Because as I mentioned a million times, not a big fan of city battles. I don't know why. I'm just not good at them, I guess. So the fact that this went so well, it's a pleasant surprise. It was a deserted city though, so you know, we're not being shot at and we're not, they don't have any fortifications you have to climb. It's just a broken city for the taking. A comrade is being attacked. Something I think about frequently is with ancient structure, ancient architecture. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. I don't know if this is still true. It might be, Prepare. but, um, the saying I've always heard is that China built wide and Japan built tall. Meaning, you know, like these cities, they're very spread out. And if you see like depictions and like manhua or something of like prime minister estates, they're kind of like miniature cities within themselves. Like this whole city could just be someone's estate. Which is bonkers to think of. Look, the enemy runs! And then, you know, Japan's have... Is the pagoda Chinese or Japanese for both? Decisive victory. But, you know, Japan doesn't actually have all that much land that you can build on. A lot of it is either volcanic, like volcanic soil, uh, mountainous, or rice farming land. So they had to get a little creative. And to this day, they've gotten now, quick, even quick, more creative. The blow. Please tell me we capture Zhang Zhui. Bah, humbug. He's right, he's nemesis with my king. And loser. All right, off with your head. I'll take that. They have nothing to contribute to China. All right. Easy game, easy life. And we finally have fire arrows and night battles, which we've already proven to be wonderful because of you. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. The Ageless Strength joins the Great Han Empire, and we expand our ownership across the map. Soon, you'll have to face the tiger of Jiangdong, one way or another.